Hello everyone, this is Tom from Dick with the Music Store in Utrecht, the Netherlands. And today we are taking a look at a really cool vintage Gretsch guitar. This is a Gretsch 1964 Gretsch 6119 Chad Atkins Tennessean hollow body electric guitar in its original walnut finish. Although it does not look like it because these sound holes are fake, they are painted on, it is still hollow on the inside, so it is indeed a hollow body guitar. A Chad Atkins Tennessee, but more notably this guitar, this model was played by George Harrison from the Beatles, um, who then played it on a lot of uh, shows and also then in the studio, I think, and uh, kind of like in the mid 1960s up until uh, maybe beyond that even. But there are a ton of photos of him playing this very model. So it is super cool to have this in the shop, uh, to have this really iconic Beatle instrument and to show this to you guys. And it is just in a really, really great shape for its age. The binding especially is just basically just all there and just intact, which is quite rare to see on old models made by Gretsch because those are very prone to rotting the binding, but that is not the case with this one. So super cool. And then also beyond that, it is also just appears to be all original and just in a really, really great shape. So let's dive into the specs. Hollow body construction, um, got a laminated maple construction. So laminated maple on the top, sides and the back. The back is also really, really beautiful looking with all of that wood grain and paired with that beautiful walnut finish. But it is indeed uh, hollow, so it is also quite light, uh, which is really, really nice. It's like 3.2 kilos, which then translates to approximately seven pounds-ish, um, which is, yeah, Again, really nice because it is quite a large body. They also have this big old piece of metal, obviously the Bixby, but nonetheless, it is still relatively light. So very comfortable to play. Um, we've got um, two original Gretsch pickups. These are some like, I'm guessing like TV Jones style of pickups. Guessing that these also single coils because you've just got these pole pieces over here on the bottom side and not on the upside. And then you've also got the Gretsch G branding over there on the uh, on the black parts of the pickups. So that is super cool. Also then along with the original Gretsch style pickup rings that also just look super iconic. Also got the original aluminum bridge and, and base for that. And then also the original Gretsch branded Bixby B5 style tailpiece. So that is also really, really cool and very much iconic look. As for the controls, um, you've got a pickup selector over here, which is quite basic. So bridge position, middle, so both of the pickups and then just your neck pickup. And then this is your tone control because that is what they did with Gretsch. They had like always done things a little bit differently back in the day. But um, downwards, you've got like uh, the most bright tones, kind of like close to 10 on like your just normal rotary tone control that you would find on like a guitar made by Fender or by Gibson. Then in the middle position is kind of like midway, so kind of like, or even a little bit lower than that. So maybe like your tone up set to about four-ish. And then all the way up, you've got your darker tone and that is like uh, close to having your tone up rolled all the way off maybe to like one or two. Um, so you still get quite a lot of tones from this instrument. And these knobs are then all for your volume controls. So you've got a volume control for each of your pickups and then a master volume control for the entire guitar. And then this is actually your kill switch or like your on off switch. So in the middle it is uh, on and then if you have it uh, downwards or the other way it is off. So it's kind of like works as the kill switch. Kind of weird that it is a three way, but Okay, you know, um, because you really just have two modes, but whatever. Got your original Gretsch pickguard, which unfortunately has been cracked in its lifetime. As you can definitely tell, you see this big old uh, like crack running through the middle, but it has been glued and repaired. So it is quite secure. If you just leave it as is, then I'm sure that you'll be perfectly fine. But it is the original, so that is quite notable and cool to see. So then got your Gretsch logo over here. Um, got a mahogany neck, which appears to be like a two-piece mahogany neck because you've got like two halves. But then like through the middle, you also then have a seam line. And that is maybe a very thin layer of a different piece of wood, but I'm not 100% sure. But it is in a really, really nice shape. All of the lacquer is uh, still there. 
rosewood fingerboard with your thumbnail inlays also very much iconic to Gretsch and then your frets are also in a real really nice shape you do got some minor wear kind of like in the cowboy court area but that is relatively normal it's all uh, just playing and working perfectly fine and then you've got your zero fret which you see on a lot of models made by Gretsch and then your really cool headstock with your Chad Atkins Tennessean model plaque and then your logo done in Mother of Pearl or Pearl Lloyd. I'm not 100% sure on that. I'm guessing it's actually Pearl Lloyd. Either way, looks really cool. And then your truss rack cover and then your original Van Gent tuners. I've actually learned that quite recently that tuners that were used by Gretsch during this time were uh, made by a Dutch tuner uh, maker or tuner manufacturer. So that was, uh, yeah, really cool to see that uh, they used these tuners made here in the Netherlands all the way in the USA on Gretsch guitars. A little fun fact to know. And um, yeah, as for the condition, again, really, really nice as we can definitely tell. It had uh, a strap button installed over here at some point in its lifetime, it appears. So you have like this plug over here to fill that hole. And then I'm not 100% sure what these two screws are doing over there on the uh, on the back of the headstock. Hopefully you can see that. I don't think that these were in there uh, from the factory back in 1964. But uh, yeah, it is there and uh, just so that you know. And then the last thing to mention, it also comes with its original hard showcase. So you get the full package. Uh, the original hard showcase also made by Gretsch then. And more than likely that case also then came with this guitar when it was originally purchased in the 1960s so super cool to see and um yeah all in all just a really really fantastic old Gretsch guitar also then super cool that this very model was played a lot by George Harrison during his time with the Beatles so making it even the more cool and yeah again it is just in a really really fine shape and it just plays and sounds incredible as you're here so in a minute so if you're interested in this Gretsch Tennessean Chad Atkins model from the year 1964 be sure to head over to the links in the description for further details if you enjoyed this demo be sure to like the video and to subscribe to the channel for more cool weekly demos of cool electric guitars like these or cool acoustic guitars bass guitars all of that cool stuff also be sure to like us and to follow us on our socials Instagram and Facebook Links are also in the description. With all that being said, let's hear what this 1964 Gretsch Chad Atkins Tennessean electric hollow body guitar sounds like. Going to be playing it through the 1966 Marshall JTM 45 Bluesbreaker amplifier. So let's get to that part and uh, play some Beatles on this really beautiful Gretsch. So let's take first spin. Thank you. 
Thank you.